hi guys and welcome back to another video on the channel today I've got uh, three replays in the uh, Ragnarok and uh, if you haven't guessed by the title uh, it, it's my three games that lead up to and achieve the third mark of excellence in this tank which is fantastic I, I'm so happy I've done it because I love this tank so much it's it's such a good tank it's, uh, it's one of those that I'm very happy that I never passed up the opportunity to get because um, I know there's a lot of people that do regret getting this, do regret not getting this tank because it's so good. It's a lot of fun to use. The autoloader is quick to deliver its shells. It's quite quick to reload for its 960 clip. It's got good mobility. Obviously, it's got no armor. It's still basically the tier five T34 chassis, at tier set, uh, you know, a tier eight now. Um, but it's it's very very nice tank. Obviously, it does have a f some downsides, like the gun handling, for instance, over distance. Um, like it's 0.38 accuracy, which is not the best. Um, it does tend to miss a fair few shots. It's one that likes to be played quite close, um, or generally have nice shots at tanks like that that chat there that were just shot that uh, are easily penned. Um, because that's the other thing, it's penetration, which is it's not the worst, but in a matchup like this, which is quite tier 10, it can struggle. Um, you've got 205 AP pen and 240 APCR pen, and I don't think the shell velocity is that much better on the APCR, generally. So, like, in a game like this, like, I think at this point, I just couldn't be bothered. Like, I saw the, I saw the matchmaking and just thought, you know, screw that, I'm going to fire fully, well, I'm going to fire... APCR from the get-go, basically, because yeah, screw it. I just couldn't be bothered with the bounces. It was it was at that point where we're getting quite late on, uh, getting towards the end, just uh, generally quite tired and just thinking, you know, I, can't, I can't be bothered um, to think like or to well to generally be uh, be asked with the random bounces you can get. So right now on No Man Harm, we are taking some aggressive positions to try and get some spotting. Uh, right now, I don't think I'm anywhere near three marking it. I think this game I was like below 93% or around 93%. So I wasn't even really thinking of the three mark. Like, I, I wasn't going for it because this mark is insane, you know, for a, you know, for a tier eight medium tank. It's pretty insanely difficult, generally. Um, it was like, for quite a long time, it was 4.1k combined to get the third mark, which is higher than a lot of tier 9s, which is mental. Um, right now, when I was doing this, it's it was around 3.7, or 3,650-something, 3, I think it was, when I when I was doing it, um, to three mark, which is still, which is a hell of a lot more than pretty much all tier 8s. I think only really the Draugon reaches that level of, you know, need to three market. Um, so it was just insanely hard because the average tier eight game where you end up doing 2.8 to 3k damage was enough to drop you by like half a percent. And if you ended up in a game that was a pure team wipe, it was just painful um, because. It just ended up meaning that you dropped half a percent for, a, for you know, a good solid effort of the game, generally. Um, and it took mammoth games to get it to shift. Um, now, in a Draugon, getting that level is possibly, is possibly easier than doing it in this tank. Because you're not waiting on the autoloader. Um, the clip, is, you know... As well as the fact that the clip's nice, there's some times where the 0.3 accuracy will mean you'll miss one or two shots in the clip because RNG, and then you've got to wait for 28 seconds to reload. So you can sometimes get stuck, like any other autoloader really, in a reload when you really need to be pushing out damage and the enemy team is just crumbling left, right and centre. Um, so this, that's one of the reasons that this has been so hard. Like, 
it's quite funny because the second mark requirement for this was more than was about the same as quite a lot of tier 9's three mark requirements uh, for quite a long time and it, it's just insane generally this is one of those tanks that I will always recommend picking up I've had some insane games in it um, if whenever that well, I say if it'll be when whenever they sell this tank again and it'll probably be, no doubt like Black Friday sales or something like that or they'll have I think they had like the mega summer sale type thing last year as well that they might sell it again like that they'll sell the limited edition type tanks like this the uh, like the deal with the earth shaker in it the demolisher and the eradicator that sort of thing they'll, they'll sell those around the same time probably um, so like I'd, I'd always recommend picking it up so right now my team is sort of falling apart it's falling apart is probably the best way to put it um, we've dropped a clip into that ball sig we didn't need the premium rounds, but again, I've just kept it loaded because of what we're facing. Because I've bounced off the sides of like ballads with the AP as well, um, just getting a random absorption. Um, so it's it's just sticking with it. It's like I said, I couldn't be bothered at this point. I was just determined to try and have a nice game and just run around like a lunatic. Because even if you fight the full prem, you still, as long as you hit most of them, you still make an absolutely beautiful amount of credits. Because that's it's seventy five percent crew bonus. Um, not crew bonus, 75% silver bonus, I should say, on this tank. And that is fabulous. You make such good money. Um, if you're running uh, silver boosts, you can make 300k easy every game. Uh, you just drop four or five clips, probably pen three quarters of them, and you've made that. No problem. Um, so right now I make the mistake of quickly firing that one, but we will get to shut this guy down like that. And it's now 3v3. It's me and this Valor against the sharpshooter and yeah, I think it's just the sharpshooter over on this flank at the minute. And right now, I'm looking at that sharpshooter thinking, with my health, I can take a hit. So what I want to do uh, is take the hit and drop my clip into him and hopefully leave him in a position where he can be killed by my Valor, basically. Um, because it doesn't really matter with the Griller because the Griller is a, you know, I'm a one shot pretty much most of the time to the Griller. So like, we drop the clip into him and we leave him on 429 hit points. That's enough for this Valor to kill him. Um, and now I'm just reliant on this Valor do, doing it, but he, he misses unfortunately. And the Sharpshooter shuts him down. So now we're left in a 1v3. Which isn't ideal, especially since we saw that griller who was full health. There he is, full health. Um, and right now, I'm underneath, I'm making it look like I want to run away, basically. And I'm waiting to get unspotted. There we go, now I'm off the opposite direction. I've made it look like I'm staying there. The artillery's fired at me. I'm off. Um, rotating round. Because as well, it's the thought that the sharpshooter's there. I'm a one shot for him. I need to get up, disengage, and get away. The gorilla is going to be coming this way very quick. Um, he's going to be wanting to get shut me down as well. We're currently at 5k damage, 861 assists, so we're nearly 6k, you know, 6k combined, which is a nice tally already, especially for a, a tier 10 game. Um, and so yeah, we're at the minute we're on the way out. I'm probably thinking right now. Well, right now I am thinking, I want to get up to these hills. I want to see if I can see the art because the art was at like around D9 spotted earlier on. So I want to see if I can get him. I have got a mind that if they've seen I've buggered off, they might enter the cap, which is a worst case scenario. We don't want that um, because then we'll, we will have to go back and that leaves too much to fate, really. Um, so I'm just about to reach this hill and see if we can spot the arty and there goes the base and worst case scenario, I mean it's three minutes, we can get there but if the griller joins it's one minute thirty, if I'm all the way over here we are not getting back, there is not a chance so I'm on the way back, I know that it's clippable and then we spot this griller now you see me backing up here now I'm stopping, he's outside my detection range but unfortunately, he drops down this way before I even get spotted. I drop the clip, and he shuts me down. 
So right now, right then, I should have just accepted I might get spotted, dropped two, and gone to that rock immediately and reloaded. But I think, to be honest, again at that point, I just I I wanted to drop the clip, make sure I got the damage, and then he shot me, and then chance it, and unfortunately I lost that chance. That's just the way it is. It happens. So I've got a high caliber, an ace tanker, and we pushed to 93.76. Uh, a lavish light those medals off, killing two enemy tanks two tiers higher. So 93.7. So you can see now I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa. 93.7, that's pretty good. You know, I've not been that high. Well, I've never been this high in this tank. So I was thinking, so it was in the back of my mind that, you know, I could do it. And this was on, like, uh, Saturday night. Uh, so I was like... I think this was the last game we played, or the second to last game, one of the two. Um, and, yeah, I was just like, no, I'm, I'm not going to play anymore. I'm not going to chance it. I'm too tired at this point. And that's why I think I got done there, because I just stopped thinking for one second, and that was enough for you to get done. Um, so this was the next day. This was Sunday. And this was the first game I played in the Ragnarok on that day. Pearl River Assault. Uh, encounter, sorry, not Assault. And at one point, I was disappointed because it's Pearl River. It's not really the ideal map, generally. Uh, but there's stuff I can do. But then, being Encounter, I knew there was potential. That, well, there's always potential for spotting on encounter because of the way teams set up that's always a good thing it can be annoying because campers and it turns into a camp fest sometimes until someone uh, grabs life by the balls basically and goes and spots um, and generally usually sadly that person that spots also gets completely wrecked because they're out in the open there's not many places to hide so right now, we're going to hide in the magic bamboo and see if any of their team push to the cap. Because that happens quite often where you can catch them out as they make their push to the cap. Uh, we spot this little pest coming along. Uh, not going to take the shot at him. Very wary of taking the shot because this gun is derpy. But like that one, he's jumped off the cliff so I missed. Um, always wary of taking shots at a bit of a distance against vanguards, especially a tank like this with 0 0.3 accuracy where I'm not guaranteed. So I'm following him and I'm just thinking there's no point. No point in taking that. Then a 2.244 will get spotted and I'm like, that's perfect chance to get shots. And of course, bounce one. Track two. All three gone and wasted. We get 124 tracking, which is quite nice. 600 tracking on that 244, which is great. Um, it's nice to get the assistance. It's, it's everything you're after. Uh, at this point, this game, I'm definitely thinking about my mark now that I'm at 93.76 or whatever. So I'm thinking the best ways. I'm probably playing a little bit more aggressive than I normally would, especially. I, I mean, I play hyper aggressive all the time, but I'm. T I would not have come down here this early, basically, if I wasn't going for that mark. Since there was nothing near my medium tank, I knew I could come down here and basically not get shot at from the cap. And they'd probably be on this ridge line where these guys are now. So right now I'm trying to keep them spotted. Because I'm hoping that they'll poke out to try and shoot me like that guy has. And just like that, we've got 2,500 assistants. You know, we're only five to 600 now off of what we need to get the third mark. Well, for shift in the third mark. It's 3.6, 3.7 to get any kind of shift in the third mark. But if you do 3.6 to 3.7, it's only going to go up like 0. 0.1 or something like that. You know, it's not going to go up very much. So right now, I want to spot everything I can to try and help. Because it, otherwise, I'm getting stagnant. Now, we spot this Super P, and unfortunately, he's got a fair few shots on me, which is annoying. There's quite a, a bit more camping in that little pocket than I thought there was. There's a KV-2, which is dangerous, so I need to get away from him. And uh, right now, under here, I am proxying the freedom. He's been going to be permanently spotted. We've got these guys spotted down here, so we're in a perfect place to maximise spotting if we need it. And, if we want to push, we can. So right now I'm going to risk it, I'm trying to spot the KB2, he's not particularly paying attention at me. The first one misses, the second one tracks him, and the third one goes in. 
so unlucky with RNG on that. We're you know we're now over the limits of what we need for marks of excellence. Unfortunately, some of that is tracking and some of it's spotting, so it's it's a bit of a mixture. Um, so there might be about 700 discountable damage on tracking right now, which is not good. This Vanguard doesn't react quick enough. I've now reloaded and I can get rid of him. And you always want to get rid of the pest. Get out of here. Now he's gone, I'm dropping the reload because there's nothing else to shoot. Something else could get me, but I can pull back behind this ridge here and hopefully my friends that are all out and about now would be able to uh, shoot them, basically. Um, so we're dropping the reload again. Hopefully, I think the next target we'll want to go for is this KV-2 to get rid of this threat off the butt. Uh, and we've got this Vengeance who looks like he, he wants to go... <laughs> to come down and jump on me but uh, he's not quite risking it and again he's still trying to peek for shots I'm hoping he'll poke more so, so um, that's the other thing I'm hopeful that he'll poke more and I'll get spotted for it for him playing dangerously so again right now that dreadnought's got spotted he's the next target we want him off the board because he can hurt our day very quickly now I know he's fired at this guy and the dreadnought's reload is relatively quick for the 152 so I want to drop these shells quickly and unfortunately I auto aim that one and he hides behind the wreck of the pest so we only actually get one in for that whole thing which sadly is bad because obviously now we've left the dreadnought on you know he's not one shotable for us but he's got enough health now he's fired again He's fired again, and he's pulled behind the rock. I'm unspotted now. So I know I can try and chance it. Again, it's always me. I'm chancing it now. Hoping he won't poke me. Now, he's on fire, and I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to leave him to burn to death. Save my shell, and I can come and get this freedom. Now, that was quite bad, because he killed my friend. Like, I think, my, my, well, my, to be honest, my friend got greedy and instead of just letting him burn, he tried to get, nick, the kill and, nick the kill and expose himself to him, which was never going to end well. But generally, I, I, I could have shut him down and you know saved my teammate at that point. But I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about where I can maximise what I can do with the gun. He's going to burn to death anyway, so it's a waste of a shell if I needed to kill this freedom. And in the end, it helped because I got to kill the arty and the freedom with the last two shells. So that was two tanks wiped out. Well, it was, yeah, it's basically three tanks wiped out with one clip. Uh, now I'm thinking, now, now I'm seeing this Wraith. He is down here in the open. I can drop my clip into him. He's going to get shot by other people. Uh, so drop one in, get the next one. It bounces off his upper plate because of the spaced armor on those stupid Halloween tanks. Track him in place so that we've got enough time to turn around and run away. That was always the ideal thing to do with that track. So I didn't want him to be able to keep to keep going and come up to me while I'm reloading. I don't want to take the hit. Uh, so fortunately, he's now put himself in a position where he's got his back to my friends and he gets killed. He gets shut down. There's a Coronich, KB4, uh, TD and a light tank left. Um, and my again, my next thought is where can I get more damage? Uh, there's that light tank up there, and there's the Goranich down here. Now, as I'm coming up for this Goranich, I'm like, okay. I've seen the shots fly in from that Falcon at my friend. I'm thinking, can I hit that? I can. And thankfully, he stays in a place where I can kill him, which is nice. Um, trying to look for a shot on this SU-152, which I could get, but he pulls back so that I couldn't really do it. Uh, and we're going to go try and shoot this KV-5, who drives out. First one goes to the front of his turret, which is quite fortunate. The second one hits his droid and ricochets into his turret again, into the gun mantle, which we're not going to pen. Fortunately, he misses me again, and we're going to play a bit of Ring Around the Roses with him. And mistake. There's a big mistake here that I do, everybody does, when they're so into it. And it costs me that 891 damage. Okay. I drive around this corner. I'm go. oh, hello. Click. Uh, what? Oh, I've not reloaded. 
three shells, we've reloaded one shell. So, with him being the only one left, uh, it's just waste, generally. We miss out on the opportunity to get the top run, and we miss out on the opportunity to get that extra damage we could have had. So, sad ending rate really of the game, because it could have been that little bit more, but generally, a very nice game, and it's nearly 8k combined, which will provide us with a big, big jump. We get the high caliber, 182,000 credits, mate. That's firing pretty much mostly, well, all of it was standard. And we're up to 94.89. It dropped us that close that that clip on the Goranich might have got me it in this game. See, it's fine margins like that, that mistakes like that one shell loading can cost you. So you've always got to be aware. Now, it can happen. You're so into it, you don't realise you've run out of you know you've run out of ammo. You're so determined. You know you can use the AP to pen everything, and then you forget, or well, you just don't look, and it you know you don't check. Um, so that was, that was a nice game. Now, unfortunately, between that game and this game, I had five or six games where teams collapsed. We won every game bar one. And then the enemy team collapsed non-stop. I managed to, managed to claw out 2.5 to 3k damage. I think, I think it was five games. And we dropped from 90, I think from that 94.89, I think it was the 93.9 or 93, no, it's 93.86 again. I dropped all the way back down again because of that. But then I had a game before this one, which which was a pretty terrible game. It was very tier ten. Um, I only got 1,900 damage myself. I got no assistance up until the last minute, where I managed to track a mouse, a full health mouse. Tracked him. He got it. He repaired it. Tracked him. It dropped the final two in to track him again, which is always good about this clip. And he got wrecked very quickly and very hard. There was a two-man platoon of Death Stars, both pending with AP. And because it was that final swarm, he just died within less than 10 seconds. I got 3k tracking assist. So like that, that crappy 1900 damage game went to uh, 5.9k combined. And it shot me to 94.5 or just about just over that and then so that not again it was back in the realms of having it in one game so we end up on no man Han again and uh, we come to these this position I quite I, I like to be in in no man Han, and we nearly get hit by that VK 45028 he surprised me I don't know why he was there but he is it scared the life out of me, actually, because it was kind of like, oh, no. Then this easy 8 pops out. This is easy damage. Break his engine, slows his retreat. And then, again, we're thinking about damage. We want full pens. Because this thing is so difficult to get, we just need the damage. So we shot at that stockade. Not really foot... Well, pretty crappily led. Snapped it in. We could have had 127 damage to kill this easy eight, but unfortunately we, we missed the stockade as it was crossing in the open. So now we're thinking again. Next clip. T150 looks like he might drop, drive across the open. We've reloaded, waiting to him to drive into the open a bit better. One, two, damage his engine. Three. He had a lot of fun <laughs> playing this game. He drove for probably two minutes and then got clipped out of the game straight away. Tier eight against tier six. Fun, right. Um, so now we're reloading again. We're in a bit of a perilous place. I, you know, I'm feeling quite unsafe in this position I'm in right now. We get lucky that that KV2 blows his shot, and then we get shots at this guy. Now I, again, I'm trying not to take a hit, so we could have killed him. So we and we missed that. We see the T28 duck into this rock to avoid his shot, which was well dodged. And then we're out. We're not sticking around for him now. Get down below the ridge line as quick as possible. And just see if we can reassess and get this clip in. He is making... That T28 is making snaky moves. 
I feel like he's coming for me. But there's a sh there's a chance that we can't turn down. First shell goes between the turret. The second one goes in front. The third one drops him. Again, it was a chance to drop a clip. We needed to do it. So we're reloading right now. And this 244 looks like he wants me. So I'm watching him. And he's making those kind of movements that tells you that he might be coming for you. Now, I, I to escape... I want to go, I'm going on the outside. This is more dangerous, especially since he breaks my engine. But my thought, until he got spotted, my thought was that VK was coming up along the five line. Which means he would have had shots at me. So I'd have rather taken the 320 hit than the one... I'd have rather taken the, the hit from the 244 for 180 than 320 from the VK. But unfortunately, he gets spotted as I'm on the move up. Uh... The shot on the 244, we unfortunately dirt the first one auto aimed into the ground. Again, don't auto aim shots like that. You just waste. Unfortunately, that means he gets another shot into me, and I've put, you know, I'm on the run, basically. Uh, but I've managed to reload another shot, another clip. He sits in a place where I can pen him. First one hits the ground, obviously. Second one goes in, and we get shutting down. The third one does not hit that guy. And right now we're looking at the situation and it's it's been a good, very good game so far. We are on the move, basically, with what we've done so far. And now I'm think sensing this could with what's left on our team and their well, their team generally, this could be the game that I get it. So now I've switched to premium because I'm not chancing what I did last game where I fired to and then ended up just naturally reloading. I'm not chancing it. We drop that clip. We kill the prop. Drop another one into the VK. See if we can kill him. But he gets below just in time. And we're reloading again. And again, it's now thinking, what are we going to do with this next clip? So right now, we've done some successful fallbacks to stop, stop ourselves getting yellow. This VK, again, looks like he's coming round. And we're now nine seconds out. So we're going to start to make the move with what we're going to do with this clip. He's looking like the target now. He's been asked to be shot from our friends. He looks like the one we need to get rid of. So what we're going to do, drive up, drive by shooting, he's gone. And uh, we're going to reload again because we want the full clip ready. It, it's going to take, I, I, I'm thinking, it's going to take me at least 10 to 15 seconds to get up towards this Death Stalker. So it's enough time to drop a reload and if he shoots me in between oh well I'm gonna have a full clip to shoot him and whatever else is left over here which is the easy eight that we shot earlier uh, he fires and misses I'm two seconds out from reloading again we're on the way make sure that we're in a place we can't miss and we hit him that's five kills and we're driving down here and with it that easy eight was spotted last time and the one line so we're heading over this way um, and it's just it's just how easy this tank can make games look. Um, unfortunately, we missed that one. But like this game has been kind of non-stop. But it's been reliably dropping the clips into people, taking the health away, and you know clearing flanks basically, trying to save the team as much as possible. Um, and this is this is why this tank is so deadly. Um, so the freedoms last, and we really. At this point, I just want the down. I, I want the kill. Seven kills would be a nice way to have it. And I'm not sure... Uh, you know, I'm thinking it could be the game to get it. But at the same time, this mark is so hard that sometimes it might not be enough. Uh, we see this Jagdpanzer IV rushing the Freedom. I'm pretty sure he's going to kill him. But then he drives out in front of me. And bang, seven kills, 5.2k damage, 686 assistance. That's nearly 6k combined again. You know, nearly, nearly. That's what, 5.9k. And, yeah, it's a third mark game. We got, we ended up getting it. High caliber. Uh, Ace tanker. Three marks of excellence. And I was, this, the relief to get the third mark on this tank was fantastic. I was so happy to get it. Um, clearly. <laughs> yeah. 95.06 as well though. That final shot on that Freedom was probably the one that got it for me. It might have been the shot before. But generally, I might not have had it if I hadn't shot that Freedom. So that's nice. We've got Devastator and Top Gun. 30 shots fired, 21 hits, 20 pens. 
you know, it's not bad. And we wrecked a lot of people. We took a lot of health out of the game very quickly. No one really could really react to us. And the rotations were just about right to keep away from people. But yeah, we've got the third bot. As always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.